Well, Houston, we have a problem. Tractor won't move. Judging by the size of those claws on your feet, I got a feeling this really is gonna hurt me more than it is you. But, uh, sir, I'm gonna need to spray some of this on the back of your head. Here, take a look. Yep. What's up guys, it's Daniel from Arms Family Homestead and uh, I'm in a little bit of a time crunch. Uh, things didn't line up throughout the day as I had planned on. So I've got the 2 am 5835 fired up and I hooked up the uh, Woods Precision Cedar because I've been telling you we're gonna do some food blocks and stuff, some cover crops and different things. But I was hooking it all up, gonna get the tractor and the cedar washed because it's been sitting in the barn all summer. It's super dirty and uh, I'm going to load everything up and take it over to Cross Timbers Bison to Dusty. He's going to plant a field this weekend. We got a little bit of, we had a pretty good rainstorm come through. We got a couple inches of rain yesterday here. And it's a little too muddy to do any planting here, but Dusty didn't get near as much rain. So he's going to try to do some, some planting over the next couple days. But I was hoping to get everything washed and cleaned and ready to go before my delivery showed up. Um, I knew I had a delivery coming in today on a semi. I ordered a bunch of seed from a company I've never bought from before, but um, Dr. Grant Woods has a, uh, a channel on, on uh, YouTube, um, Growing Deer TV, I think is what it's called. He uses this company called Green, Green Cover Crop or Green Cover Seed Company. Anyway, I ordered a bunch of seed from them to put in for food plots and some cover, clock, cover crop for pastures. Well, about the time I got the precision cedar hooked up, the truck driver called and said, hey, uh, I'm about 10 minutes away, so put the pallet forks on and we're headed to meet the truck driver so we can get the pallet unloaded then hopefully come back, load the tractor, and take it to Dusty. We did get a pretty good rain. So we had a lot of moisture on the ground, but not really enough to get the creek up and clean it out at all. And all the debris and moss kind of just gathered up. But uh, it's a little dirty, but definitely did not get cleaned out. Oh, 
everybody. Tractor is uh, loaded down and secured and uh, had to go change shirts because uh, while it's not hot out here, it's, it's literally 84, 85 degrees. But uh, as my wife would say, the uh, humidities are really high and uh, I'd sweat, I'd sweat through my first t-shirt as you can tell by my lovely sweat band on my hat. It's sweaty out here, even though it's not really hot. That humidity's killer, but anyways, off the dusties we go. Got everything loaded up. Should have everything we need to get him set up and get him. I have to teach him how to calibrate that cedar, get his seed rate set, and teach him how to drive the tractor. Not that Dusty doesn't know how to drive a tractor, but he's never driven that tractor. So off we go. Made it up the hill. I'm telling you, that's a uh, that's a serious pull. Most people don't have something like that on their driveway, but I always like to come back and check all of my uh, load securement after we uh, come up that hill and make sure I didn't blow out a tire because uh, that has been known to happen. So we should be good. Houston, we have a problem. Tractor won't move. At first, it wouldn't, uh, it starts and runs just fine. It wouldn't lift the three point uh, hitch at all. Turned it off, turned it back on. I was able to get it to lift the three point hitch. But other than that, it will not move. I can put it in gear. The shuttle shift lever goes back and forth. Nothing. I it will not move. I called uh, our local, uh, I say local, local-ish TYM dealership. They're about an hour and a half away, waiting on a technician to call me back. But uh, I, I'm stumped. I, I have no clue why the tractor won't move. But it looks like Dusty's not going to be planting seed today. Um, so first, first issue I've had with this TYM. 5835 this was a branson carryover tym bought out branson and uh so it's a tym model now it used to be a branson tractor but uh <laughs> i guess if it's going to break down on the trailer's a good spot because at least we can get it to the shop right well made it back home with the tractor you talk about a mood killer <laughs> I, was, I was having a really good day and uh I'm not gonna let it get me down but it is a little bit frustrating I did talk to a couple mechanics at the uh, TYM dealership where this tractor came from, which is about an hour and a half from me. They're not exactly close. <sighs> the consensus is we don't have any idea yet what's wrong with the tractor. It could be a, a clogged hydraulic filter. 
possibly. Uh, it hasn't had a 50 hour service yet because it's actually not even, hasn't even reached 30 hours. I haven't really used it a whole lot yet. And uh, they said sometimes you, know, you do a 50 hour service to, because that, uh, that flushes the whole system out. Typically on a 50 hour service at TYM tractors, they drain all the hydraulic fluid, change all the filters and everything because there can be some metal shavings and stuff. So it could be a clogged hydraulic filter. The uh, hydraulic pump did kind of whine, make a weird little sound a couple times when I started it. And because I killed it and started it, you know, trying to get it to work. And the three point lift wouldn't lift up and the shuttle shift would not engage in gear. So I could not get it off the trailer, which still can't get it off the trailer unless we just rolled it off. The problem with rolling it off is then we got to get it back on the trailer. So the plan is today is Friday. We're fin I'm shooting this video on a Friday. They're closed on Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So I'm going to take it to them on Tuesday and drop it off. The problem is, is I need that. I need that precision cedar because I've been telling you guys, we've been waiting on a little bit of moisture in the ground to start planting food plots and cover crop and everything in our pastures. And uh, that was kind of why I was letting Dusty get a, a jump start on it because he's he didn't get as much rain as we did and he had about 20 acres he's wanting to plant in cool season crop for um cool season pasture for his bison well i can't get that off right now I... so we're gonna just leave it all loaded we're gonna leave it all together take it to the dealership we're gonna roll it off unhook the woods cedar load it back on the trailer and then i'll probably have to take it arms keep getting tired <laughs> i'll probably have to take the trailer with the uh cedar on it to the mill creek property because that's where my skid steer is so i'll put pallet forks on it i may set the uh i've still got the original pallet that this came on i, I save pallets sometimes you know it's a big heavy duty pallet you don't want to throw it away which i'm glad i didn't so i'll take that with me we'll set this on the pallet and then i can offload it with the skid steer and the pallet forks and pull it behind the 574 so while it's in Mill Creek, I might as well probably just do some planting there. But I had big plans for next week that's uh, all going to get pushed back, which is fine. It's not that big a deal. I'm not going to let it. It's not going to make that much of a difference being a week behind on planting. Excuse me, ma'am. Um, are you any good at working on tractors? I need a, I need a little bit of help. If you could figure this out. I mean, you're good at pecking on uh, emu's heads, so do some pecking up there and see if you can figure it out. Can you do that for me? You just went quiet, huh? Uh, so just a minute ago, I was on the phone talking to cameraman Ron, and this turkey walks up, and she could see her reflection in the front bumper of my truck, and she attacked the turkey that she saw in my front bumper. So anyways, uh, I guess it goes without saying the food plot planting is getting pushed back uh, probably at least another week because uh, there's my cedar and the tractor won't back off the trailer. It's a really strange issue for a tractor that's basically brand new, but we'll get it straightened out. TYM will make it right. They'll fix it. And uh, I, I have no doubt about that. It's all under warranty and everything, but in other news i'm gonna go check on charlie i did buy some medicine for the back of charlie's head i've been using just like some uh uh some antibiotic ointment cream that's got like a fly repellent in it i don't remember what it's called i just rub it on his head once a day keeps the flies off but this is a uh, vetricin antimicrobial poultry care healing and skin repair see there wounds and pecking injuries so if Charlie, <laughs> he's not going to let me do this. He's not going to enjoy it. We're just going to have to catch him and spray his head. Let's do it. Charlie, how's your head, buddy? Are you healing up? Oh, yeah. It's much better. We're going to go ahead and try to spray it. Um, I will say this. Uh, my dad always said this is going to hurt me than it more than it is you. He'd say this is going to hurt me more than it is you. Um judging by the size of those claws on your feet i got a feeling this really is going to hurt me more than it is you but uh sir i'm gonna need to spray some of this on the back of your head here take a look 
Yep. It's it's gonna make your head heal up a little better. All right. Can we do this? Back up, Charlie. Back up. Can you walk backwards? Oh yeah. All right. I'm gonna shoot you in the back of the head, buddy. Don't freak out on me. Yeah. Oh, easy, 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 Charlie. Easy. Ouch. All right, all right, all right, I got you. Hey, all right, go ahead. The back of your head looks like it's healing just fine, though, if you'll let me spray him from a distance. He's like, uh, get away from me. Hey, copper. What's up, buddy? Huh? You hungry? All right, I'm going to feed. Got to hurry. I got stuff to do. Got places to be. Okay. Well, that could have gone a lot worse. A lot worse. Uh, he did kick me. He did kick me on the knee one good time. Um, emus can kick really hard. In case anyone was wondering. Oh, fellas! I missed it. I didn't get it on video. That was a nice little headbutt, you two. You got another one in you? No. Larry. Your, uh, your little girlfriend here was attacking herself in her reflection of my front bumper. That's very, uh, that's a very Larry kind of move, I feel like. Oh, look who came back. What? Here, just, just turn your head. Got you. That should be good. It's not bleeding anymore. No recent, uh, pecking by the hen. So... It's not the first time that's happened, and we have been treating it with some other stuff, but I kind of thought, I saw this at the store the other day and thought, well, that might be perfect. I guess Charlie does too. You like it, or are you just hungry? Pepper's special. She likes her feed soaked in water. Here you go, RJ. Don't let that goat scare you off your feed. You know that's where you like to eat. Where are you going? Hey, Doesn't that just look yummy? That's the way Pepper prefers it. You like your feed soaked in water, don't you, Pepper? Is that good stuff? Is that the way you like it? I tried to mix it just right for you. Not too wet, not too dry. I know how Goldilocks is with her porridge. Enjoy your dinner, Pepper. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Hi, Reba. You having a little supper yourself, here, babe? Here. Here, Reba. Oh. Sorry, the feed sack made a noise. It scared you off. Alrighty, everyone is fed, minus the donkeys. Got one last bucket of feed I gotta take to them. Well, and Bear, I need to give Bear some dog food. But uh, other than that, not the most successful day. Did not get everything accomplished that I had planned or hoped. But I think that's pretty typical. And uh, I was talking to uh, Dusty and Marissa earlier over there at the Ponderosa if you don't know Marissa's Dusty's wife but Marissa said uh <laughs> she said you know I, I when she worked full-time she <laughs> wasn't on the farm with Dusty she said I never understood why Dusty never got as much done as I expected him to until I was at home with him working on the farm and uh nothing ever goes as planned nothing ever what? goes as planned what did you come to feed the donkeys? I watered them for you. Well, you're see. all. I'm already. You're all dressed up and nowhere to go. I got somewhere to go. Well, I know, but not until I get in the house and shower and get cleaned up. That's right. I'm talking to my friends. Hi, friends. Hi, friends. <laughs> okay, I got to feed the donkeys. All righty, donkeys and donkey poodles are all fed and nobody's eating out of these little bowls. I do like to feed a little bit up on this rock because it's too tall for the donkeys. 
and they eat a lot faster and Farrah's a bully she likes to push everybody around so that gives uh Lucy and Tina a place to eat where the donkeys can't bother them because well Phoebe you're too short that's why watch she'll try she's like I know he puts feet up there huh Phoebe you know you know all righty then uh everybody's fed chores are done gotta go get cleaned up and uh head to a high school football game my wife's got to do pictures it's senior night there's a senior night really early but uh she's you know local photographer she got to be on the field and do pictures for all the seniors with their parents and stuff not that we don't have anybody participating but emily did get homecoming princess they're doing homecoming a little bit different in our town this year she's a sophomore usually we have four candidates you know freshman sophomore junior senior this year the queen they nominated three seniors and then have a princess for freshman sophomore junior so she got sophomore homecoming princess and uh we found a dress i think she found a dress today actually got a really cool car for the parade that's gonna be a lot of fun small town football stuff but today not the most successful i do have one little tidbit of advice that i learned from a wise old man Maybe just a tad bit inappropriate, but he said, <laughs> don't sweat the petty stuff and don't pet the sweaty stuff and you'll be all right. So guys, that's all I've got for today. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. You guys have a great day. Come here, Earl. Say, and as always, we'll see you on the next video. Remember, remember Earl, don't sweat the petty stuff and don't pet the sweaty stuff. Huh, Trashy?